हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे इज़ द फिफ्थ वीडियो ऑफ यूनिट टू ऑफ बिजनेस एनालिटिक्स फॉर सेमेस्टर सिक्स दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी वी हैव डन विद द फोर वीडियोस इन दिस इन विच वी हैव डिस्कस टॉपिक्स लाइक डेटा प्रेपरेशन डेटा क्लेंजिंग समराइजेशन सॉर्ट एंड फिल्टर conditional formatting text to columns removing the duplicates and in our very recent video we have done with data validation which was very important you must see all these videos in order to understand this very concept of video number 5 in which we will cover about covariance and correlation so covariance is a statistical function as we all know that calculates the joint variability of two random variables given two data sets so in simple words covariance just say about the joint variability it means that what is the relation or the uh, impact of one variable on the other right for example if i say um, if i use more of the social media then my scores would decline so there it of course it will decline we all know that except for the any exceptional circumstances so it tells about the opposite direction right so we can say there is negative covar covariance in this right in this situation right so we can use the this covariance concept in our excel by using the syntax covariance dot p with the array one array two where array one is the range of the integer values and the array two is the second range of the integer value note the point that if the given co arrays contain text or logical values they are ignored by covariance in the excel right so covariance here so i have used for the sake of understanding purpose but in excel we have to use covariance only on the numeric data because text and the logical boolean operators would be ignored data should contains numbers names or arrays for the reference that they are numeric okay for if the sum cells do not contain numeric data they are ignored data set should be of same size with same number of data points data set should be neither empty nor should standard should the standard deviation of the values be zero right so to find the covariance determine if there is any relation between two c uh, column c or d we can write covariance with this and this and the answer will appear in our excel as we finish this operation mathematically covariance is calculated like this this is only for the sake of you know information purpose business analytics may no one would uh, would be asking you this formula so no need to learn this only for the sake of information it is given next is the correlation matrix very important correlation uh, matrix is a table that displays the correlation coefficient for different variables right so you might be thinking then what's the difference between correlation and covariance right let me explain you covariance uh, covariance as we talked about is the relation it gives us the direction if it is positive then the both the direction will be upward or both the direction will be negative i mean downwards if the covariance says it is negative then one would go up the other would go down or the other one would go down the other would go up this is told by covariance but in correlation correlation talks about the strength the strength of covariance is called the correlation right so if uh, the demand if the price goes up by 20% the demand will go by uh, down by 30% let's say so this 20% and 30% is told by covariance sorry correlation but the price will go up <coughs> sorry and demand will go down is told by covariance okay understood the difference between correlation and covariance now furthering the discussion the about the correlation matrix <clears throat> so the correlation coefficients like this and this or different variables is displayed in a table called correlation matrix this dis uh, matrix displays 
the correlation between all the possible pairs of values in the table such as uh, such a table is very useful to summarize the large data set to identify visualized patterns in the given data set it consists of rows and columns to show the correlation between two variables it is helpful in analyzing the multiple linear regression model where several independent variables are present so correlation as we talk, uh, talked about is a statistical measure that describes about the extent or the strength to which two or more variables are related to each other okay so it indicates the strength or the direction of the relationship between the two variables two variables are correlated the change in one is associated with the change in another either positively or negatively okay so positive correlation is like the values of two variables increase or decrease together in at the same time simultaneously they are increasing or decreasing it's called positive correlation for example height and weight are positively correlated as the height increases the weight tends to increase as well they it might not be true but for you know sake of example they are giving so if i take the example of demand and income so if the uh, income of the person increases the demand or the consumption of the person will also tend to increase this is the positive correlation and negative correlation is as i talked about price and demand if the price go up the demand will go up out uh, go up down in the normal circumstances of course we are talking about normal circumstances in the case of normal goods when the two values are negatively correlated the increase in one variable uh, results in the decline of other speed and time are negatively correlated like if we are going uh, from delhi to hyderabad uh, if this speed increases the time will decrease of course so there is the negative correlation when the speed increases the, there takes the less time to reach the destination right so here is the scatter graph showing the correlation coefficients okay in excel correl function returns to pearson correlation coefficient for two data set pearson's correlation coefficient as we all studies in the business stats also uh calculate its calculation and correlation in excel is done by the correl function correl function right the syntax provides this array 1 and array 2 this is the correl function of the excel for calculating the pearson correlation coefficient so syntax is this uh, array 1 is the first range of value array 2 is the second range of values two rows should have equal length this is important you must know that assuming we have set of independent variables b to b 16 and dependent variable c to c 16 our correlation coefficient formula would be like this this is the data sets of two uh, you know data sets we have sync correlation into remember that if cells are in array contain text logical blanks they would be ignored i talked it out earlier also if arrays are of different lengths any error will occur if different lengths are there if either of the array is empty or have if standard deviation is less than 0 or equals to 0 then divide by 0 occurs division error will occur the pearson function in excel does the same thing it calculates pearson product moment correlation coefficient the syntax for pearson is the same as correlation where array 1 is the range of first and the second is the dependent variable continuing with the same data set we can write this as in shown the figure these are the correlation it gives the same answer because it is the correlation and this is the moment correlation it's the same thing okay then interpretation correlation analysis results in correlation matrix the coefficients are shown in intersection of rows and columns we know that if columns and row coordinates are same it has the value 1 the negative sorry the negative coefficient shows a strong inverse relationship between dependent and independent corresponding to positive coefficient value indicates a strong direct connection between the variables okay so this is it for the video 
thank you so much i hope you liked it please like share and subscribe to the channel uh, in the next video we'll be talking about a very important concept of moving averages so stay tuned for this thank you so much